Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorials series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand CSS background properties. In the previous video tutorials, we discussed CSS background color property, background image property, background repeat property, background attachment property and background position property. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss CSS background size property. Background size property is used to specify background image size that is width and height of the background image. We can control the width and height of the background image by using CSS background size property. Various values that we can assign are we can assign space separated two values. The first value is for width the second value is for height. Width and height values we can assign in fixed length like pixels or in percentage. Also we can assign the value cover, contain etc. Let's see the demonstration and get a clear idea how we can use the background size in our web pages. Let me go to notepad. You can see I have already opened default.html in the notepad. It has the basic HTML document structure code written, title is set to CSS properties demo. I have already opened default.html in the Chrome, title set to CSS properties demo. I go to notepad, in the head section, I say style type equal to text or CSS. Then I say closing style tag, within that I tell to the browser, apply the background color cyan to the body, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the background color is applied to the body that is cyan. Next in the body section, I create a div, closing div, within that I write some content, some content, then I tell to the browser, locate any div in this page, set the width to 100 pixels set the height to 100 pixels then background color to magenta semicolon file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the div is created with the background color set to magenta it has width 100 pixel height 100 pixel let me zoom little bit i zoom so that you can see clearly 200 percent okay Next thing is I apply the background image to the div. To apply the background image, we use background image CSS property. I say here background dash image. We use URL function and it asks for an image name. Here I pass an image which I have at the desktop. I minimize notepad. I minimize the chrome. I minimize MS Word. Here we have an image flower.jpeg image. Right click properties details you can see the image has the width 100 pixels height 100 pixels i go to notepad here i say flower dot jpg file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the background image is applied to the div as div size as well as the image size are same image has covered entire div element there is no problem okay sometimes the element size may be bigger, image size may be smaller or maybe sometimes the image size will be bigger, the element size will be smaller. At that time, you can be able to control the image size, right? To control the image size, we take help of CSS background size property. Here I say background dash size colon. I say 100 pixels space 100 pixels semicolon. This is same. Anyhow, the background image size is 100 by 100. So there's no problem. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. There is no problem. Okay. Now, in place of 100, I say 50 pixels by 50 pixels. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the background image size is reduced. It is of 50 by 50 actually and it is repeating. You can observe it is repeating vertically as well as horizontally. We can stop this uh, repeating behavior by using the background repeat property, right? I say here background dash repeat, no repeat, semicolon, 
file, save, go to browser and refresh. Now the image is not repeating. But width is 50 pixels, height is 50 pixels. Let me change here width to 100 pixels. File, save, go to browser and refresh. Width is 100 pixels, height is 50 pixels and you can see that it has stretched quite okay. Next I say here 50 pixel width, height should be 100 pixels. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that height is 100 pixels width is 50 pixels. Let me set them back to 100 by 100. File, save, go to browser and refresh. Okay. We can also give here auto. Most of the time we use auto value for the height so that the browser should calculate automatically the height. 100 pixel width height will be definitely 100 pixels because the browser calculates based on the aspect ratio. It maintains the aspect ratio. File, save, go to browser and refresh there is no problem you can see that if I change here to 50 file save go to browser and refresh you can see height and width are 50 by 50 that's how the browser works friends as I told you can also use a responsive unit like percentage you can say here 50 percent file save go to browser and refresh there is no problem width is 50 percent height will be automatically calculated by the browser which is 50 percent i can also say here 100 percent file save go to browser and refresh you can see image has covered the entire element hope you guys have understood how you can use the pixels and percentage to control the background image size let's use the value cover I use the value cover now what the value cover does the value cover try to cover the entire element by using the background image file save go to browser refresh you can see that the background image is covering the entire div element that is the behavior of cover even though the width or a height is different still it tries to cover here I say width 200 now the image width is 100 but the element width is 200 file save go to browser and refresh still you can see that the background image is covering the entire element we can't see anywhere the background color right the image is covering the entire element but you can observe that half of the below part of the image is getting cut yes that's what happens when the size is different the image might get cut we can't see the complete image right similarly if I say here 100, file save, go to browser and refresh, no problem, everything is covered properly. If I change the height to 200 pixels, file save, go to browser and refresh, image is covering the entire element but you can observe that right hand side part of the image, half image is getting cut. That's what happens with the cover value but it covers the entire element that you should remember. Let me set that back to 100 file save go to browser and refresh okay next value i am going to demonstrate is contain contain what it does actually means it tries to put the image within the element that means image is going to be contained by the div element let's see the demonstration anyhow file save go to browser and refresh so image is within the div element it is not going anywhere outside there is no cut right if I increase the width to 200 pixels, file, save, go to browser and refresh. So the width of the element is more, width of the image is smaller. Here when you use the contain, the image is contained within the element. You can see there is no cut in the image but it will not cover the entire element. You can see the background color magenta here, right? What you can do is simply you can use uh, repeating behavior like uh, repeat x file save go to browser and refresh that's how it repeats similarly i say here no repeat now no repeat file save go to browser and refresh no repeat and i also set the width to 100 now i set i say file save go to browser and refresh okay now i say 200 to height file save go to browser and refresh you can see that image is contained within the element 
but it is not stretching okay now i can say here instead of no repeat i can say repeat y file save go to browser and refresh the image is repeating vertically i hope you guys have clearly understood how you can use the background size property to control the background image size set the width and height by using pixels percentage cover and contain one of the question most of the time my students ask is uh, with respect to the body element they set the background image let me set the background image to the body i say here background dash image then i use a url function semicolon in between single quotation i give a image i minimize notepad minimize chrome minimize ms word here i have a image called as flower underscore bg right click properties details the width is 5184 pixels height is 3456 pixels so very high res image it has very big width and height it has very high dimension you can see that now i say here flower underscore bg flower underscore bg dot jpg file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the background image is applied but we can't see the entire image as it has very high resolution as it has very high width and height than the browser width and height we can't uh, see the complete image you can see the actual image is something like this right click preview it looks like this right but we are seeing only this much part only this much part of the image there what i have to do is i have to take help of background size property here i say background dash size i say cover the value i use cover we know that what cover does the cover value covers the background by the background image file save go to browser and refresh now you can see the image properly so the background image is covering the entire body that is all about background uh, size property friends hope you guys have clearly understood for this tutorial this much is enough friends in the next tutorial we get more information on css background properties for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial